This is my humble reaction to the Landscape Artist of the Year semifinals 2015. Let's get started. But first, before we get there, this was the heat before. This is a fellow who lost out. He was painting the estuary at some fantastic mansion. I don't know what it was. It was a very flat day. So the, the scene was flat and there was no sunlight at all. And somehow he managed to find diagonals and a really lovely composition. He was passed over for this fella. This painting that's coming up uh, went on to the finals and it is a six by eight. I don't know if you call it a painting or a pressing or a collage or what, but um, between the two painters, I, I have to admit, I, I wept a little bit. I was, it just destroyed me. But let's go on to the semifinals 2015 Sky Arts Landscape Painter of the Year. Here is where the scene was in front of the Tower Bridge in London. And you can watch this on Prime Video, which I think you purchased through Amazon. And I really enjoy the series. I don't, uh, it's not, it's not a very, I, I don't enjoy all the judging. That last one I showed you was just, just stuck in my craw. But let's move on, like I said. So here's the scene that they were set up in front of, and here are the final, semi-final entries. So this is number one, and prior to this, the woman who had painted had painted something that I was re really didn't like, which was just full of scribbles. But anyway, so there's Tower Bridge, uh, semi-finalist number one, and I want to know who you would pick. That's, that's what I'm getting at. I want to know who you would pick. Here's semi-finalist number two, and this is a watercolor. I think it was smart to break the bridge up, you know, that wide expanse of bridge. I, so I, I appreciate the composition here uh, and that it's a watercolor, of course. Now here comes the next entry, beautiful draftsmanship, as you can see. This is somebody who uh, works very, very slowly, and so he did not finish. Uh, in the end, this is the painting. Well, we'll see if this painting wins. This is the in, this is the painting that was chosen. Each one of the heats, someone is allowed to choose a painting to take home, and uh, one of the people chose this. Here's the next one, which baffles me a little bit because it's almost like uh, I don't know. Was she looking at the same thing everybody else was looking at? I don't know. Obviously, my biases are showing through here. It's it's a lovely piece of painting. I just sort of like. Um, were you in the room? Were you in the same room everybody else was in? I'm confused. But now the next one did a lino cut, and what he did was he didn't look at the bridge. Instead, he twisted himself a little bit and looked up across the uh, river. And I, 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 this this is really appealing to me. I just love the design of all this, and this is what the buildings look like. An amazing sort of montage of different eras of buildings. So uh, that uh, again and again, this is quite small. This is probably maybe a eleven by eleven. Someone else who took the, t the tower bridge broke it up into pieces, which I think, again, was a very smart thing to do. Um, I'm a little bit baffled, though, because it's, it's, it's uh, I'll just leave it there. <laughs> the next entrant is, uh, this is a very small piece. It's probably uh, six by six inches or something. Again, a little bit of a collage of things. And, um, and, I, again, was he in the same space everyone else, else was in? I don't know. Now, I'm all for artistic interpretation, but this is baffling to me. Here is the painting that won the heat, and he will go on to the finals. I suspect he's probably going to win, um, but I'd love to know if you watch the program what your reaction is. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mask for value, mix for color, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.